Hello, my name is John Gabriel, and this is the new calculus channel. So today I'm going to discuss another perspective, uh, which I've discussed in several videos before, and it deals with the fact that a given representation of a number means that it is complete. There is no division pending. So the topic I'm going to deal with today is an answer to the question. For example, is 1 over 2 the same as 1 divided by 2? Does it mean that you're actually dividing 1 by 2? Well, let's find the answer to that. So <clears throat> now, so what I'm saying, what I, the question asked is, uh, why am I not able to, okay, the question asked is, it, does this mean 1 divided by 2? The short answer is no, it does not mean that. Um, the division has already taken place. Now, in algebra, if we do that, that means that the division has taken place. But in algebra, there's no division actually possible if the numerator is smaller than the, than the denominator because Division actually means very simple, very simply this, repeated subtraction. So what can you subtract? How can you subtract 1 from 2? If you subtra subtract it repeatedly, you're going to get a very large number, aren't you? Okay? All the time, you're going to get a very large number. And it's not going to make sense, is it? So what is 1 minus 2? It's minus 1. And we take away another 2, and that's going to be minus 3, and so on. So this here is not determined, okay? So in algebra, nothing happens when you say 1 divided by 2, because 1 is less than 2. 1 goes to the top, and 2 goes to the bottom. In other words, we're just representing a number like that, right? Where this line here is equal to this line here. So we're... And of course, this one also, right? So it's basically just this taken twice. So in in the beginning, it was written like this. One line like this. And that would equal to a half, right? Okay, so uh, in, in algebra, we simply represent it like that. And it doesn't mean 1 divided by 2. The division has already taken place. Um, no division is pending. So now, so you may turn around and say, well, what happens when you do this. Well, you're certainly not dividing 1 by 2, because look, even if you write it like this, you say 2 goes into 1, it doesn't, 0, and then you say 2 goes into 10. It's 10 divided by 2, not 1 divided by 2, right? And that's 0 0.5. And what's happening here is that you're representing this number in terms of a radix system, okay? So you've got your radix, your tenths, your hundreds, your units, your tens, and your hundreds, right? And so all you're doing is you're writing a 5 over here. And that is equal to 1 half, isn't it? But in order to get to writing a half here, you're not just doing division. This isn't, you're not dividing 1 by 2. You're doing no such thing. What you're actually saying is this. You're saying a half multiplied by 10 over 10 so that you can use this property, okay? And now you can start expressing it in terms of the factors of the radix system. And in this case here, you can divide 10 by 2, and that's 5 times 1 over 10. And so you can write it down in terms of this representation here, which is, which is a radix representation. It turns out that you do exactly the same thing if you're using any other radix. Let's take, for example, this radix system, okay? Base 2, 1, 2, 4, etc., right? So over here, what are you doing? Are you dividing 1 by 2? Nope. You just put a 1 over there, and it means you have a half. And so how did you get from a half to 0 0.1 in base 2? All you did was you took a half, and you multiplied it by 2 over 2. That's the same as 2 over 1, uh, 2 over 2, 
times 1 over 2, right? And this is 1 over 2, and 2 divided by 2 is 1. And so you've actually represented it in base 2. But you're doing no, nothing of the sort uh, that, you, that your idiot mainstream professors of mathematics and your teachers tell you. They are all fucking morons compared to my intelligence. Excuse my language, but it's the truth. Now, so, so there is no division pending here, okay? Don't, don't fall for the bullshit that you're told. This here has already happened. This here is a number in its own right. It's a number like 1 over 1, which is equal to 1, or 2 over 1, which is equal to 2. In fact, it's just the reciprocal of this, isn't it? It's 1 over 2 instead of 2 over 1. And in the beginning, we just used line segments. The ancient Greeks, who were my brilliant ancestors, whose clarity of thought was not matched by any before or after them. Okay, and they understood these things. And I was the first after 2000 years to understand these things. So after Euclid and before me, no one had a clue what this meant. Okay, they thought this meant one divided by two. It doesn't. The division has taken place. And the same story here. I mean, if you have to write uh, two divided by four, the division has already taken place. What does this mean here? This here means that you've got two units like this compared with four units, okay? Where I haven't drawn it to scale, but one of these is equal to this. And the same with this and this, okay? So you take the unit and you divide it into four equal parts. And then you enumerate those parts, which is two, right? So no division is taking place here. Two over four doesn't mean two divided by four. Did you get that? Okay. So that's all I really wanted to explain. And of course, the same is true of one third and two thirds, etc. No division is taking place here. Now, if you have, for example, five halves, then you can actually take the two away from five two times, right? And there's only a half left. So it's two and a half. That's the answer. Two and a half or five halves. Okay. And if you wanted to uh, express that in your radix system, you would put a two here, 2.5, right? And so I hope this has given you a clear understanding now. <coughs> Excuse me. And that you will no longer be confused about this. I am the great John Gabriel, discoverer of the first and only rigorous formulation of calculus in human history. So I hope you've enjoyed this little video and look forward to talking to you about something else in the near future. Take care. This is a new calculus channel. Until next time, goodbye.